This video will look at the types of questions you can add while creating a quiz as well as actually adding the questions to the quiz. So we've built the cat food quiz. Let's go into quiz setup. And here on the properties tab, we're going to come down here to quiz questions. We're going to click on where it says add edit questions. And there's currently no questions in this section. There are several options for adding questions. Um, if you've created questions in the question library, you can actually import them right here. You can click on where it says import and then you'll choose um, from an existing collection and you'll choose question library and we'll note here's our three areas of the question library so we'll just click, click choose cats and we can add these two questions this way. Now for questions that are not in the question library um, you can actually create questions right here from within the quiz by clicking on new and you can see you've got a lot of different options here. Um, the first being a section, which is just basically a folder or a bucket for different types of questions. So you may put like all of your multiple choice que questions in a section. You may put all of your essay questions in a section. There is also something called a random section. Uh, this will allow you to create that question pool where you've got say 50 questions and you want it to randomly select 25 for each student um, that will allow you to do that. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Otherwise the rest of these are pretty standard. You have your true false multiple choice. Um, all of these are going to actually attempt to auto grade except for the written response question. So anytime you're choosing any sort of what, what you might think of as a short answer question or an essay question really anything that's going to require more than a couple word answer um, that you want to manually grade, you're going to want to choose this written response question. Um, again, even the short answer question is going to ask you to put in some correct answers and is, is going to try to auto grade that. Um, I'm not going to go over the rest of these in a lot of detail. There are a couple other options here, image information and text information. So this might be used if you have a, um, an image that you've got maybe five questions that all use the same image, you can actually put the image information there and then follow that up with the five questions. So you kind of put that at, at the top or you can put that like in between different questions if you know the image refers to maybe the next two questions. Same thing with text information. If you have just um, some sort of text or sentence that you want to be able to put in the quiz itself without it being part of a question you can put that in there. So we're just gonna um, I'm gonna demo this most standard option here which is just the multiple choice. I'm gonna click on this and this is actually a fairly new quiz interface it's a little bit simpler than the old interface. If you don't see this newer interface you'll actually see a little arrow kind of poking out here you can click on this and um, it'll tell you do you want to turn on the new quiz creation experience so I'm going to say leave it on and let's just put uh, a question. I'm going to just go ahead and say what food is the correct answer as I choose the correct answer over here. Notice that I've got a preview over here of the question. Um, there is an option here to randomize the answers for each student and to put the number of points. Now if you're looking for a few more really advanced options, there is an options menu up here in the upper right hand corner. I can click on the arrow next to that. I can add feedback. Um, the feedback is what students will see on their review page. Uh, they can see feedback of, you know, be sure to review this part of the text. You can add that in. Hint too, if you're allowing hints, which that was part of the settings, you can create a hint in here and then that will come up if they click the add hint button. You can add an extra short description for this. Um, you can add custom weights for the answers. So if uh, dry food was 25% correct and you want them to get you know partial credit for that response, you can add those custom weights. And then add enumeration that's like your A, B, C, D or your 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I'm not actually going to choose any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and save. I have two options here. I can just save or I can save and create a new or I can save and copy this one. I'm going to just go ahead and save. So notice now I have three questions. Um, a couple other things I can do with these. Notice they're all worth one point. If I want to edit that, I can select all of them. I can click on here where it says edit values. 
and that will allow me to change the number of points, also the difficulty. I have a bonus option here too to make any of these questions extra credit. And I can check these mandatory. When they're mandatory, that's gonna mean that they're required to answer them, like they will have to answer them in order to be able to submit the quiz. I'm going to cancel out of that. I can delete questions this way. I can move questions around. Um, ordering, it, moving is really like moving them in and out of folders or sections. If you're not using sections here, you're not really going to use that probably. Ordering questions is ordering the actual order of the question. So that's probably more what you're going to be using here. I'm going to click on done editing questions. And I'll notice I'll see them down here. Um, a couple other things I can do with this. Um, I can set, now I can set the questions per page, whether it be one or, or many. I can set that here and that'll set that by default. If I also, if I wanna put a page break in, you'll notice that when I mouse over the left hand side by these lines, if I click on this, this actually adds a page break between the questions. Um, another somewhat new feature here, shuffle the order of questions at the quiz level. Um, this will present the questions to students in random order. All right, so now that I've created my questions, I can save and close. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a preview here so you can get an idea and see what this looks like. So I'm gonna click on preview. And this is gonna allow me to see this as a student. So I'm going to click where it says bypass restrictions. I don't really have restrictions on here, but if I did, I would want to click that. I'll click on start quiz and OK. And then here's my three questions. Notice I have one question per page. Um, notice this is randomizing mine because this was actually the third question that I added. So I'm going to say wet food and save. I'll know my question saved because I'll see this icon over here. Let's go to the next page. And what's Alan's cat's name? His cat's name is Doppel. So we'll save that and go to the next page. How many cats does Emily have? I just have one for now. And I'll save my answer. I will save all responses. And then I'll go to submit quiz. Yes, I'll submit the quiz. And now I'm gonna get my review because I did set that up so that I could see the questions and all the correct answers.